thing Professor Hinkle could do oh. was make no, a jump. No, he ain't. No. No, he didn't. Oops. Oh. <laughs> no, he didn't. Nigga fell on his back with his legs open. Me on a Friday night. Vlogmas day. What's the? Hey. So now let's react to Frosty the Snowman. I hope it's good, cause you know how them old school cartoons they be cheesy as hell. I suppose it all started with. Oh, the we got our classic narrator. You see, it was a very special kind of snow. A snow to make the happy happy, and the giddy even giddy. A snow to make a home coming homier, and natural enemies that that Christmas magic. <laughs> For it was the first snow of the season. A schoolhouse you could tell the child the can tell you, there's a certain magic to the very first snow, especially when it falls on the day before Christmas. For when the first snow is also a Christmas snow. <laughs> Well, I love his grandpa voice. Like, ugh, wish I had a grandpa. What are these kids doing? Bad as hell. <laughs> Streaking up the window. Oh, look at this bitch. Children, back to your seats. The snow can wait. Now, now. That's a thick bitch. I've hired Professor Inkle, the magician, to entertain in today's class Christmas party. A magician? So, pay attention. Oh. <laughs> now, Professor Hinkle was just about the worst magician in the world. Ooh, these sound effects are giving me Emma Chamberlain circa two years ago. And so, I put the magic eggs into my hat. Abacadabra, to coin the phrase. <laughs> and voila, the eggs Scrambled. have turned into... <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. Messy, messy, messy. Especially me. Cause I am a messy bitch. Where is that rabbit? Hocus pocus. Where are you? Bah. The only thing this hat's good for is the trash can. We're like, what's funny? <laughs> Yay! Yay! You dessert Hinkle the Ouch for some stupid owl frozen water. Hey, look at the snow. It's snow. Yeah. It's cold. Well, where'd he get a toboggan from? Ain't it, it? The first snow was never that much. We're building a snowman, Karen. You make the head. The head is the most difficult part. Ask anyone. Did he pull that button call? off of his yeah. shirt? Oh, call it's a Harold? button. Never mind. Uh, Bruce? Nah. Christopher Columbus. Fuck oh, clip Christopher no. Columbus. Oh, Neil. Oh, oh Neil. Look, sit your bitch ass down. Frosty. Frosty? Yeah. Frosty it is. Frosty the snowman. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Oh, so happy. Where's the magician guy? <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. The magical Christmas winds. Happy birthday! That hat brought Frosty to life. It must be magic. Magic? My hat magic? Just look! 
If that hat is magic, I want it back. But it's not yours anymore. You threw it away. Don't talk back to your elders, you you naughty, naughty little girl. My mom to me growing and up. You stay in there, or there'll be no carrots for Christmas. But you can't take that hat back. It brought Frosty to life. You saw it happen. I saw nothing of the kind. Mm. <gasps> shame, shame, shame. I remember doing that. Well, my grandma doing it to me. It'll make me a millionaire Holy magician. I've cop like a pistol. We saw Frosty come to life, didn't we? Uh huh. Oh, uh, we sure did. Boy, stand off. You silly children believe everything you see. When you're grown up, you realize that snowman can't come to life. But we silly, silly, silly. Ooh. Oh, Frosty, we don't He definitely be a Trump Frosty. supporter. We know you did come to life. We know Frosty. We Where did the arms know. and legs come Frosty, from? Like why didn't he go back to just being round and inanimate then? With a clunk up pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. Speak of the devil now, again. Now, of course, the hat did belong to Frosty and the children. That point must be made very clear. Therefore, Hocus Pocus was entirely in the right in what he was about to do. Oh, he swear he all them lemon pepper steppers. Well, Hocus Pocus raced back to the children just as fast as he could. Look, the hat's back. Let's see if it'll make Frosty alive again. Happy birthday! Hey, I said my first words. But, but snowmen can't talk. <laughs> All right, come on now. What's the joke? Could, could I really be alive? I like how they I look mean, at the camera. I can make words. I can move. Why I do snowmen juggle. have brooms? I can sweep. I can count to ten. One, two, three. Four, five, nine, six, eight. Uh, well, I can count to five. <laughs> Just a little shit. What do you know? I'm even ticklish. In fact, I'm all living. I am alive. What a neat thing to happen to a nice guy like me. Me when I get a new subscriber? What a neat thing to happen to a nice guy like me. And that old silk hat they found. Oh, when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Frosty the snowman was a Is he just walking in place? What a movie so far. Play just the same as you and me. Uh oh. What's the matter, Frosty? Who? Is there a thermometer around here? Over there in the wall. Why? Oh, I was afraid of that. It ain't gonna get that hot on Christmas Eve. getting red. I hate red thermometers. Why, Frosty? Because when the thermometer gets all reddish, the temperature goes up. And when the temperature goes up, I start to melt. And when I start to melt, I get all wishy-washy. Then you've got to go someplace where you'll never melt. The only place I'd never melt is the North Pole. Then we've got to get you there. Yeah! We'll take you downtown to the railroad station and put you on a train. Great. I always wanted to see the town. Let's make a party out of it. Let's have a parade. Can you imagine seeing kids walk down the street with a possessed snowman? Like... What a fucking concept for us. Move. I love it.
Those don't look like your average carolers. Down to the village with a broomstick in his hand. Running Mind your business. And there, all around the square, saying, Catch me if you can. Come on, kids, follow the leader. you see that traffic light? What's a traffic light? Up there on the lamppost. What's a lamppost? Oh, you want a ticket, wise guy? I'd love one. To the North Pole, please. Huh? You've got to excuse him, sir. You see, he just came to life, and he doesn't know much about such things. Oh, well, okay, if he just came to life. Move along! That silly snowman. Once they come to life, they don't know nothing. Come to life? Hmm. I'm gonna use that on the next cop that I run into. We'd like oh, a ticket. Hmm. Well, it, it North Pole? Oh, yes, ma'am. Dramatic. Root you by the way, a Saskatchewan, Hudson Bay, No Alaska, the Klondike, and Aurora Boreal. Boy. Gotta make a change at Nanook of the North. <laughs> That'll be three thousand dollars and four cents, including tax. Oh, but we don't oh. have any money. No money. <laughs> no money. No ticket. Now I'll never get to the North Pole. Oh, Frosty, you just can't melt. Oh, Karen. Don't you get all slushy, too. <laughs> what is it, Hocus? Out the window? A refrigerated boxcar. On a train How headed north. You'll be safe there, Frosty. Come on. Where did the kids come from? Oh, yeah. Never mind. It's full of ice cream and frozen Christmas cakes. What a neat way to travel. What you think? Hurry up, Frosty. The train is pulling out. I wonder if Frosty get have a dick. Would Are you coming nice to the North Pole too? I'm sure I'm my mother will I'm fucked up for thinking of that watching this kid. As long as I'm home in time for supper. <laughs> Thomas looks different here. Frosty the snowman had a hurry on his way. But he waved goodbye saying, don't cry, I'll be back again someday. I must get that hat back. Think nasty, think nasty, think nasty. <laughs> Ooh. How did he disappear from the back of the car? That's that old school uh, cartoon technology and logic. Now, actually, a refrigerated boxcar is a splendid way to travel. Splendid, that is, if one is a snowman or a furry-coated rabbit. But for Karen... And she got a dress on. Are you cold, Karen? Now, that's a silly question. You wouldn't be sneezing if you weren't cold. Well, just... just a li little... Frosty realized that Karen had to get out of that car as soon as possible. So when the little freight train stopped, 
to let an express full of happy Christmas travelers pass. Frosty took advantage of the opportunity. How did he let that pass when it was behind all us? Oh, look at him. Oh, you tricked me! Oh, look at the no bundles fear. blowing in the wind. The only thing Professor Hinkle could do oh. was make no, a No, he ain't. No. No, he didn't. Oh. <laughs> no, he didn't. Nigga fell on his back with his legs open. Me on a Friday night. Fell on his his back Frosty with his legs open. As far away That's my as he type of could party. Before Hinkle woke up. Everybody getting cold at this point. Cause Frosty, huh? I gotta go home. But the woods Death and too much they traveled were still And with all the snow, Frosty, you should be about 100 pounds by now. Each oh, snowflake just attached to you. Karen all like up. me and McDonald's. Well, she's a cow is attached. Well, I can't make a fire. Oh, boy. That's one thing I really can't do. Guess we just better keep moving until we find someone who can. <laughs> then suddenly they came upon a tiny glen which seemed almost magical. For it was Christmas Eve, and the woodland animals were all decorating for their big celebration. They knew Santa was to come that night. The woodland they animals. wanted everything to be just right. Hocus, speak to the animals. See if they won't all pitch in and build a fire for Karen. The animals were delighted to help. So they found the spot away from the glade. Oh, I love a good pink sky the after all the snow. Catch onto the tree. Soon there was a spark. And in almost no time, a splendid fire was crackling away. Frosty was careful to stay If they're far freezing like this, the what is the evil makes. magician guy doing? Hocus, we've got to find someone to help Karen get home before she freezes. And me to the North Pole before I melt. But who? No, not the Marines. No, not the President of the United States. Oh, they were both swell ideas, but we've got to find someone nearby. I'm gonna do the thumbnails. Yeah, Santa Claus. That's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that before? Hocus, you go back with the animals, and when Santa comes, you bring him right here, understand? There we go. Hurry now! And so Frosty kept a silent vigil, waiting patiently all through the night until Santa would arrive. But suddenly... Oh, a campfire. Well, isn't that you know all they say? snug and comfy? Two things, hoes and evil, never get cold. <laughs> no, don't! Now, give me that hat or else. Or else what? Uh, well, don't bother me with details. Give me that hat. Get on my shoulders, Karen. You see, Frosty, since he was made of snow himself, was the fastest belly whopper in the world. Huh. Me on a treadmill. And old Professor Hinkle was soon far out distant. A country nurse. Who runs this place? Now if it it's just in the middle of the woods. Good fortune that right at the bottom I love of the hill logic. was a tiny greenhouse used to grow precious tropical poinsettias for Christmas. For Christmas. It's got to be all warm and snug inside for those Christmas flowers to grow so beautiful. Let's go in. Oh, but but you will melt. 
just a little. I'll only stay inside for a minute. Besides, I've been meaning to take off a little weight anyway. Girl, me and you both. Shit, where's the lies? Stay in here much longer and I'll really make a splash in the world. <laughs> Why didn't he just have her go in there and um, they both keep a watch out for his dumb ass? Now I've got you. And the minute you're all melted, the hat will be mine. I still cock like a pistol. <laughs> oh, shit. Santa had arrived. Back up is coming. Was he too late? Tell on him, Hocus Pocus. Hocus explained the situation to Santa. Who, as you know, speaks a fluent rabbit. And when they didn't find Frosty and Karen on the hill, Santa followed Frosty's pad in the snow to the greenhouse. But when they got inside, a terrible sight met their eyes. Frosty, the snowman. Can you was a Let me pause it. Can you imagine this guy singing this in a booty like Frosty, the snowman? Was a jolly, happy soul. He does what uh they used to call when I was in the theater, the uh talk singing. It's when you really don't have a singing voice, so you talk you talk with tone and rhythm. So he likes Frosty the Snowman. I'm like, boy. Jolly so listen. With a con cup pipe and a button no. And two eyes made out of... Who would have thought that Frosty the Snowman is a tragedy? They were too late. <laughs> too late? Why, nonsense. Oh, Santa. Oh, so Don't cry, Karen. Frosty's not gone for good. You see, he was made out of Christmas snow. And Christmas snow can never disappear completely. Oh, <laughs> oh, it sometimes goes okay. away from I'll just check and see if it year died. at a time and takes the form of spring and summer rain. But you can bet your boots that when a good jolly December wind kisses it, <laughs> it'll turn into Christmas snow all over again. Yes, but he was my friend. <laughs> just watch. I know that's right. What a nice thing to happen to a nice guy like him. Wait a minute. I want that hat and I want it now. Don't you dare touch that. And just what are you going to do about it? If you so much as lay a finger on the brim, let him have I'll never bring you another Christmas present as long as you live. Oh, shit. Never? Never. No more trick cards or magic balls or... No more anything. Oh, that's not fair. I mean, we evil magicians have to make a living True. too. Now you go home and write, I am very sorry for what I did to Frosty a hundred zillion times. And then maybe... Just maybe, mind you, you'll find something in your stocking tomorrow morning. A, a new hat, maybe? Oh, yes, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Sorry to lose and run, but I've got to get busy. The time's right, right there. Busy, How far did it actually busy, go? Busy, busy. And also, why is the magician kind of the best character in this whole thing? Come on, Frosty. We're Next all to waiting Hocus. for you. Happy birthday! <laughs> Santa, it's Christmas Eve. You got more shit to do than be sp uh, ring around the road. Get your ass in the stop. All that waiting at uh, thing. 
fuck around there with my cheap ass if you don't be living. And made ready to bring smosh me back to the North Pole. Karen hated to say goodbye to Frosty, but as Santa promised, her parents, Frosty meanwhile, every called the police, the got missing reports, and Amber and, and, and his every bitches year, on the It was a great celebration with a big Christmas parade. First off, I love it. Second off, this was so good. I can't believe I've never watched it. You know when I feel like I may have watched it, I just don't remember. But I do know that magician, he stole the fucking show. Second of all, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do watch this, which you probably won't, honey, or you probably will, I'm gonna speak that into existence. 2021, no matter what bad happens to us, we gonna speak the goodness through it all. We gonna speak what we want, we gonna speak that. Manifestation is 50% speaking what you want, 50% hard work. So if it goes bad in 2021, you're going to work towards the better. With that being said, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me another Christmas movie that y'all want me to react to. Or if you're from my Sailor Moon videos, uh, comment down below another Sailor Moon episode you want me to react to. I'm thinking talk radio next. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys the next day. For another day and another time. And the same place. So I'm at the same place, same time. Bitch, shut the fuck up and end the video. Okay. Shit. Oh, these lights. Like my light bill ain't I'll high enough. On Christmas Day. Oh. Grandpa's gonna sue the pants off a of Santa. That's what a grandpa's gonna do.